Sixth for Mohawk, the 28th championship final of the Canadian Trotting Classic. And they're off. Charging out is up a lazy river from the extreme outside. Captain Brady is off stride. Power to Charm comes out at his inside. Mr. Muscleman is one of the three best away. Kingdom is put in there in fourth position in a snug spot. That Sugar Trader looking to get in from fifth. Captain Brady, Muscle King had to be pulled out wide at the flank of Penn Pronto. And after an early miscue, CC's Chucky T was trailing again off stride into the first turn. Went Captain Brady uh, over to the quarter up a lazy river and Brian Sears first there. There in second is Power to Charm with John Kemble. 28 seconds flat. They turn down the back stretch in the richest ever race in Mohawk's 40 plus year history. Up to three eighths, up a lazy river. Is on top of length and a quarter. Power to Charm there in second. There goes Ron Pierce. Mr. Muscle Man drives out from third. Luke Ouellette is up on the move with Sugar Trader into the top four. Kingdom following along in fifth position. Penn Pronto is up on the move from sixth. Muscle King is seventh. Then CeCe's Chucky e. T and Captain Brady trailing 57. Seven and one was the half. Mr. Muscle Man has taken the lead from up a lazy river onto the final turn. Power to Charm still has clearance. He's on the inside from third. Uh, languishing a little bit fourth on the outside. Sugar Trader is off stride. Kingdom now inherits fourth on the final turn. Pen Pronto will be fifth coming to head stretch. Then Muscle King. CeCe's Chucky e. T. Captain Brady is out of it. At the top of the stretch, Power to Charm made a break in the three hole. Mr. Muscle Man is in total command of his own destiny into the top of the stretch 124 and 4 he kicked out a big third quarter of 27 and 3 and Pierce is trying to squeeze the final eighth out of him in the richest ever trotting race in Canadian history here comes Muscle King and Steve Condren on the outside Muscle King on the outside all out is Mr. Muscle Man Steve Condren moving up with Muscle King hanging on to win it is Mr. Muscle Man and Ron Pierce just by a nose to Muscle King Kingdom was third 154 and two, Mr. Muscle Man had just enough muscle left to win it. Welcome back to a very special Saturday evening here at Mohawk Racetrack. Happy guy. He doesn't show it on his face, though. Give us a smile, Mike. Big winner here tonight with Mr. Muscle Man. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, he was good, and uh, that's all we pray for. Top of the stretch, were you confident or were you concerned with the backfield in motion? I was very confident, top of the stretch, halfway down, didn't look too good when those ones come at him, but he, you know, he dug in deep and uh, he was very good. Is that this cold strength, go to the front and try and outlast him? Uh, it used to be, uh, but these last five or six races, we, uh, we like him off the pace. And, uh, you know, I thought the rail might have been a little bit of a worry, but, uh, you know, race and luck helps. Such a drastic change in tactics last week from out of the clouds and tonight right on the point. Showed his versatility and he showed, uh, I guess, a new level of uh, energy and toughness here tonight. Congratulations on the win. Thanks very much. Mike Vanderkamp, winning trainer. He's just sent out the trotter who won Canada's richest trot race of all time, the $1.3 million Canadian Trotting Classic. Thanks to Ken Middleton live from trackside with winning trainer Mike Vanderkamp. And there's the winner of the 28th Canadian Trotting Classic Championship, Mr. Muscle Man. Number one, the Muscles Yankee three-year-old bay gelding from Meadow Branch, Irene. Owned by Adam Victor of New York. Driven to victory by Ron Pierce in Mohawk Racetracks. Richest race, the richest single purse trotting race in Canadian history. His fourth and 11 this year. This win will send his life's earnings to over $920,000. In the winner's circle to make the presentation, the Vice President of Racing for the Standard Bread Division at Mohawk and Woodbine Racetracks of Woodbine Entertainment, Jamie Martin. And we're very pleased to be assisting with the presentation. We welcome the Sports Director of 680 News in Toronto, Bill Cole, right there beside Ron Pierce, making the trophy presentation of the Canadian Trotting Classic Championship Trophy. 680 News in Toronto, a great supporter of Canadian horse racing and certainly harness racing where the nightly wrap-up report is carried at 11.45 p.m. Thanks to Bill Cole, Sports Director of 680 News, for assisting us with the Winter Circle presentations to Canadian Trotting Classic Champion, Mr. Muscle Man. Results posted and the prices are now official.
Ron Pierce has been racking up some pretty serious frequent flyer miles. Uh, he was at Delaware on Thursday, last night Lexington. Here tonight, you took Mohawk by storm. Congratulations. Thank you. Ronnie, uh, this is a cold who's danced in all the serious dances this year. Had some bad luck on Hambo Day in his uh, elimination. Uh, just take us back to that point. What did he lack that day that he had tonight? Well, he just got sick or something, had some kind of a virus that was going around, and it just threw him for a loop, and uh, he lost all his strength. Talk to Mike Vanderkamp about the approach here tonight. Did you guys talk tactics this evening, or did he leave that up to you? Well, we talked about it a little bit, um, but uh, as it turned out, we did just the opposite. We raced the cold just the opposite of the way we were planning on racing him. Mike said he was confident ahead of the stretch with the lead you had built up. Were you the same? Uh, I was sure hoping uh, he'd keep going. Uh, you know, it was a pretty tough uh, third quarter on him. I had to work a little bit to get to the top, and um, the Colt uh, tried enough to, to hold him off. I was pleasantly surprised. I saw you sneak a peek over at Steve Conner when you crossed the finish line. You exchanged words. Can I ask you what yours were? Yeah, I wasn't sure. Uh, you know, Steve, is a regular here. He knows exactly where that finish line was. Um, so I just asked him uh, if he got me. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Ron Pierce has just won Canada's richest trot race. It's the Canadian Trotting Classic final. Thanks again to our Ken Middleton with Canadian Trotting Classic.